Hey everybody, uh, welcome back, I'm, uh, Plin Spelunky, there's no joke to be made there. We're due for an Isaac run, I'm pretty sure. If I've made a mistake and we're due for a random run, well, that is my mistake and I apologize for it. We're not doing a seed here, are we? I don't believe so. I have been playing this a lot on the stream lately, but I don't remember picking up Sad Onion in a first item room. Wonder if we can get everything that the body needs right here. Like, what if we put this bomb, like... Here? My only worry is that when I walk out, I might bump into it. No, that looks pretty good. Okay, there's a beautiful turn of events there, I would say. Um, let's go fight our boss. I gotta turn this down just a little bit. It's a little bit noisy here on the Binding of Isaac scale. Jeez, what are you trying to do to me here, game? There we go. That's probably a little bit more realistic. And you probably can't hear anything at all. And I apologize for that. But in any case, okay, double monstros, the red monstros, no big deal. Already I'm stoked about this floor. We got three spirit hearts. We did use our bomb to do it, but it's not like we ever use our bomb for anything other than tinted rocks on the first floor anyway. Just like tinted rocks and getting like a hidden chest or something like that. So it's not that big of a deal. Sad Onion is a, a great item. Uh, ups our rate of fire substantially. I don't believe it carries like a negative, like uh, proportional loss in uh, actual individual tier damage. So I'm pretty stoked about this so far. And we get the eight ball, which is our comeuppance for saying that things are going very well, so we'll reroll that. It becomes the cardboard box, and it also gives us the uh, the cancer trinket, and this is like my ideal cardboard box right here. One key, so we can for sure go to the sh uh, shop or item room on the next floor. A pill that was eh, okay. A decent tarot card, but mostly a, a good trinket super early on. You know, that, that helps out a great deal. So our rate of fire is already like a, a principal focus on this run for sure. Really doubt we'll get anything amazing here, but you know, why not get another uh, one-third of a reroll charge here? And that was an exceptional first floor. One of every consumable, super crazy rate of fire, tons of spirit hearts to back us up. Um, the spirit hearts might end up being the most valuable thing that we picked up on this floor, believe it or not, because they will give us a, a much better chance of actually um, snagging a deal with the devil. So assuming we can actually get, yeah, we probably don't even need HP, but if we get HP, it'll be easier to pallet a, a deal with the devil, um, actual trade, but uh, yeah, uh, this, this is probably gonna guarantee me at least a crack at uh, getting some useful items in that regard. So this is a new instance of the Binding of Isaac, not like a new version or anything like that, but just I've loaded and like closed and reloaded it since playing the last ones uh, a couple of days ago, so um, we shouldn't have any deal with the angel uh, weirdness happening right off the bat, which is, I don't know, good? It, it makes things a little bit more predictable, I guess, which is sometimes considered bad, but I'm okay with it. I want the uh, I want the predictability. We'll record a few Isaac runs here. I uh, got like a two-hour Isaac window to do some recording, so uh, we'll, we'll leave the instance open because I like sometimes, you know, not guaranteeing yourself a deal with the devil after the second floor. Instead, you get a deal with the angel, and you're like, shit, dude. I don't usually have scapular on the second floor. It just makes things a little bit more varied, if you will. All right. So as expected, uh, we got our deal with the devil. We also got another uh, tinted rock. Spirit Heart is not the greatest trade in the world there. Oh yeah, no, this is beautiful. Um, we're gonna take the Pact for one. I'm, I'm tempted to take uh, the Luck Foot, but I'm not going to. Just because sometimes it can cause like a weird Red Heart debt and, you know, two hearts for HP is fine. The Luck Foot is super, super good. You know, make all pills not bad. Uh, it might end up being more beneficial than the Pact, but if I can only take one, I, you know, the Devil You Know is better than the Devil You Don't. The angel you know is probably also better than the angel you don't. So, uh, you know, that, the pact is a good item. It plays into our uh, exceptional rate of fire already. Gives us a little bit of extra damage as well, but uh, that was not so good. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to be where we're at already. This is shaping up to be a potentially really great run. So, uh, hopefully this last room, it's probably our last room over here. What would be the ideal payout here? Somehow we get a bomb and a key that allows us to find the secret room. Uh, or maybe we could just snag some HP or something. Uh, we definitely want to use our reroll, if possible, on the shears. Eh. Well, we got a key, so we could use that to go to the shop. And there is still an off chance we can make the shop actually work out in our favor, because there is a, a curse room that maybe leads to it. Maybe we could bomb our way in? I guess it wouldn't lead to it, but whatever. It could lead to the secret room, and then we could bomb our way in. Alright, so we pick up the shears. I can't remember if I did that earlier. Reroll them. It's a speed upgrade, which I'll take. Again, I like to future-proof myself, just in case large or something shows up later. There's our secret room. Two more spirit hearts. Well, it's gonna pay for our uh, for our time here. And Pyro! Oh shit, that's awesome. Okay. Um, so now, with 99 bombs, 
we would be stupid if we didn't at least take a crack at uh, finding our second secret room on like the easiest floors to find the second secret room on. It's not there. Couple different uh, possibilities here. Yeah, there it is. And pinky eye. Pinky eye is really good, but I think cancer is a little bit better. So we'll leave this floor. And again, this has turned out amazingly for us. I, I can't complain at all about the way that this has gone. Uh, we won't go to our curse room right away because we don't have a reroll. I do not expect the caves to be too problematic. And given the amount of spirit hearts we have, I think we are set. Might not be the right word, but I think we're in a good place to get uh, a lot of uh, deals with the devil. Telepills. Teleported into the mob trap room. Um, truth be told, if you're gonna have to, you know, do use an accidental telepills, which you rarely want to do, uh, this is pretty much one of the best possible outcomes, I'd say. Very nearly got hit there. Um, you know, it teleported us to a room we would have gone to anyway. I could have just walked out and saved this room to generate rerolls later, but no big deal. Now we should have, uh, turrets? I hope it's turrets. Uh, I always forget. Because the turrets are actually easier than these enemies, for the most part. As long as you, you know, aggro them properly. Alright, more bombs I can't possibly use. It looks like this does jack up my rerolls a little bit. Oh well. Again, shit happens sometimes. It's not really that big of a deal. We'll save our curse room till the end of the floor, I suppose. Although, we do have rerolls ready right away. I don't know. It's it's good so far. We don't need to really worry about min-maxing. I like when we have comfortable runs like this. Um, because it means that I can kind of get off on my, my zany tangents, you know, a little bit earlier than usual. Well, this should be interesting. That's great. That's fine. So... I thought that that was going to make me regret not picking up uh, the luck foot, but in all honesty, those could, uh, those might, or maybe even would have been the exact same uh, pills, luck foot or not. So, it's really nice to know that there's an HP upgrade pill in the rotation. That's not super common. It's not unbelievably rare, but uh, it's always nice when it happens. Alright, blue fistula. Uh, not really a blue, a little bit more of like a... Like a, an onyx color, I'd say. You know, like an obsidian or something like that. Um, I'm not very good with colors, but I, uh, I think that that has been properly described. I would say we have a very good chance of getting a deal with the devil here, but I don't control that in the end. That is uh, up to the game. No deal with the devil, but we did get a spirit heart and another HP upgrade. A lot of people might have suggested that re-rolling that was the right idea, but I don't know. I, like, the HP benefit compensates for the shot speed pseudo negative right it's not a really a huge negative it's just a it's not amazing so we have item room and shop remaining um, I think we might be able to bomb our way into one and sneak into the other or you know use the key for the other I really really hope that somehow we get enough money to be able to buy that compass but it doesn't look fucking likely does it oh well justice helps out ever so slightly Another bomb and another key. Um, sacrificial dagger. People are going to be mad about this. I like sacrificial dagger. And I like the more I play, the more I like it. So I'm going to take it. I really like it, especially if you get permanent Polaroid invincibility. All right. Second secret room has given me two more spirit hearts. It looks like we'll be leaving this floor. Fortunately, we got some good stuff. Unfortunately, we weren't able to buy the compass. Shit happens. There's there's really nothing else remaining for us on this floor. Hopefully we get an arcade on the next floor and our money issues are solved for some time. Alright, catacombs. It's our first real test. It's been a very uh, quick run so far. I've, uh, I can't believe I got out of that without taking damage. Thank God I picked up that speed upgrade earlier. A little bit of money never hurt anybody. Um, that is probably a gross uh, incorrectness. Money has hurt a lot of people, I would have to imagine. A lot of people have been hurt as a result of money, one way or the other. I don't know why the spirit arts are dropping like crazy, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Alright, Kamikaze. Terrible item. We'll reroll it. Uh, Guardian Angel. So yeah, we've got a full suite of orbitals. Uh, Sacrificial Dagger may or may not be a, an effective defensive item, but I like it for its offensive capability. Now, Envy is uh, maybe the ideal room to actually end up uh, using this death card on. You know, I don't value a death card, so there might be better uses for it later, but I don't really give a shit. There we go. Did that kill them all? No, there's two left. Not taking damage makes this well worth it, in my opinion. Alright, so we got another reroll target, that uh, shoop to whoop I, like, I apologize if my commentary is very, like, by the numbers right now, but there's there's nothing I can complain about. What's what's the most I have to complain about? Oh, I had to reroll Kamikaze to turn it into Guardian Angel. It's a hard life, right? 
I had to actually order the filet mignon at the restaurant. They didn't just bring it to me. Um, okay, so we have another key. We can use that to access the shop. Now, this is the kind of run where I want to check myself lest I wreck myself because my hubris can, you know, get the better of me when I get super strong super early. Man, this is so crazy good. And remember when I took that speed upgrade? That, this is another reason. SMB Superfan has an all stats upgrade, but it is a, a speed downgrade, weirdly enough. It says it's all stats up, but, uh, you know, sometimes speed up, or sorry, sorry, sometimes speed down actually can be uh, a positive thing, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a misnomer. But I really can't complain about getting the uh, enormous benefits that we've gotten so far. We did already fight a mini boss, so this shop is uh, something I am very much looking forward to. Especially since we've got good rerolls. We'll definitely reroll the ladder. Um, sure, let's fight in the mob trap room. We're already here. And we'll look for our secret room as well in case we don't get enough money. Which we probably won't uh, right now, but secret room could work out for us. I'm really, really still hoping for an arcade. We're already kind of snowballing out of control. Like, we're on the catacombs, but it doesn't really feel like I'm being challenged at all on this run. Just, you know, incredible rates of fire and, and damage upgrades already. Um, not to mention great defensive items in the form of uh, HP and uh, our full, full suite of orbitals already. Emperor card's really good. <clears throat> we do have enough money now. Um, I'll take it. Do we have HP upgrades in here? No, we have two luck upgrades, which I'll take. I took it because I knew there was an HP upgrade in the rotation. So I gotta give it a try, right? Um, the pretty fly. I mean, this ended up being basically worthless, but whatever. And in hindsight, maybe would have been worth saving for another reroll to use it, uh, and maybe get uh, an actually useful item, but I figured there was a pretty good chance of getting something good there, and the odds just didn't work out for us. That's okay. 15 cents, uh, easy come, easy go. Sort of. It's not like we're struggling right now, anyway. Careful. Uh, again, you know, with the amount of HP that we have, I would, uh, I would very much welcome deals with the devil. I would probably take pretty much any, like, half-decent item that they give me. Oh, that's gonna, yeah, totally fuck up that, but it's not like I needed those bombs to begin with. Alright, so there is no, uh, arcade on this floor, much to my chagrin. We're gonna be getting a second cube of meat, which I'm stoked about. Uh, you could probably argue that it's a good thing to take that, uh, pretty fly with me. Because if I get a third level cube of meat, then we would end up losing out on the defensive cube of meat, but, uh, I don't think it's enough of a concern. Whereas the uh, the Emperor card is super nice to have in the late game, so yeah, I'd rather have two-thirds of a suite of orbitals and an Emperor card, to be honest with you. Very surprised that I did not get a deal with the Devil on this floor. Maybe the game has decided that I've had enough for now. And they would not be wrong. So we still have 98 bombs. Let's look for some secret rooms. No? Okay, I'm looking for second secret rooms as well, because the Eternal Hearts, you know, they add up. That's not it. Uh, where else, uh, where else could we find a secret room? There could be a secret room here, if I'm playing my cards right. In fact, it, I was basically assuming that it had to be there. It's enough money to maybe make something interesting happen in the future. And there could be a second secret room here. Indeed there was. Ah, uh, I'll play it once, and then blow it up. Hey, there you go. Strength, not really that good. The Emperor card's a lot better. We got three cents back, so, you know, all things considered, I'd say that went fairly well. Another good floor, um, you know, we improved our damage a little bit, got Guardian Angel. Impro by improving our damage, I mean we got, you know, the second level Meat Boy, which will actually shoot. So, not our damage, but indirectly our damage. Um, cool. Everything has come up Millhouse so far, uh, even though we are in the Necropolis XL now, we have enough keys to open uh, every room that we could possibly come across, so... I expect that this will be a, a little bit of our reckoning, like, we'll, we'll start taking damage here, but we're in a very, very comfortable position. The only problems that I can really foresee right now are that we don't have, I mean, we're probably gonna have greed in this shop, and it's our last shop for the entirety of the game, which sucks pretty hard. There's our damage. I figured we'd take some. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's possible that our health could become a worry a little bit later, but for now it's fine. We can even open some golden chests with our keys here. And we probably won't get a deal with the devil here, which sucks as well. But we could, possibly, if we get a telepills or something along those lines. Of course, we are also going to end up uh, losing the cancer trinket at some point, which is going to minimize our rate of fire. <clears throat> slightly, at least. Uh, but, again, we've uh, kind of future-proofed for that, to some extent. We've got a lot of tiers upgrades so far. Sad Onion, the Pact, um, that might be it, but it helps. Helps a lot. 
Now this is like the most generous uh, Mask of Infamy room I've ever seen. Wide open room, two Masks of Infamy, not a problem at all. In fact, this conga line room is actually a little bit tougher, I'd say, than that Mask of Infamy room. Which is something that doesn't come up all that often. Couldn't say that with the... Uh, with a straight face very often. Yeah, that was terrible dodging on my part. It's okay. Not getting down on myself, still uh, doing very, very well here. All right, now this is the kind of room where hubris can get you because it's an easy room. All you gotta do is not be uh, super rash about your actions and uh, and you know, life will, uh, life will carry you here. Oh, that knockback could have been problematic. This is good, I'm gonna play this judgment. Again, I'm expecting greed in the shop. If there's no greed, maybe there'll be a chance for us to get money regardless, but... Sure, let's keep this up. We should be using bombs maybe a little bit more commonly, but we haven't really had that become an issue so far. Two of diamonds. Uh, I'm gonna pop it right now. It might not be the most efficient use of it. I probably should have popped it before I played him anymore, but at the very least, that should make it so we lose eight cents less on judgment, somewhere around there. And Peeper's Eye. So Peeper's Eye is okay in my opinion. But, we could get a better item and there's a lot of rooms left, so let's let's reroll these. Please, uh, HP upgrade here? No? Bad gas. It's not very good. But that's okay. Uh, we got a dead end. Dead end is the most unfortunate part of this whole arrangement so far because it means we'll, we'll have to backtrack, but luckily our speed is very good. I forgot that uh, the other item that we got that upped our tiers was obviously um, SMB Superfan. Okay, so we should be able to get another reroll quickly. Can't believe we haven't discovered the uh, shop or item room, either of the item rooms yet. Why Why try to walk through that, especially when... There we go, okay. You gotta plan accordingly there. Alright, um, this is where like dumb damage can really start adding up. I've taken a few too many hits that I don't, uh, I don't relish. Could get an arcade on this floor, so I'm, I'm very happy to have the eternal heart drop, but... You know, we'll see. Maybe later it'd be better. Bum friend. I think bum friend is bad. Uh, I I watched Ed's stream once. It was it was Ed and Danielle. I guess it was technically Danielle's stream. Danielle's you know his wife. Uh, and uh, she found bum friend in the shop, and she asked Ed. She's like, should I pick it up? And he's like, well, it's good, so you should pick it up. I kind of disagree. I you know, he he made the game. He he knows more about it than I do. Uh, but I, I think bum friend, you know, especially when I have a lot of bombs, it's just gonna kick those bombs back at me or, you know, away from the actual intended target and, you know, it can give you consumables and it's useful. It's kind of like having a little miniature portable slot that's passive, uh, but I prefer, uh, I don't prefer not to have it, although if I'm using bombs regularly, I might. I just prefer to, uh, you know, have a different item if possible. So as expected, uh, you know, we got greed in here. There was a lot of uh, discourse about why I'm not going to be picking up Bum Friend. Mostly, it comes down to it not being very good, in my opinion. Can sometimes save you, but uh, not today. And again, now we found our shop, but uh, still lacking both of those item rooms. That was a little bit of a ballsy walk there. And uh, again, don't let me forget that Eternal Heart. I could pretty easily end up doing that. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is, again, you know, printed on the back of the box, right? The best item I'll never pick up. Or I, I never pick up unless I make some kind of horrible mistake, which does happen from time to time. And, uh, sure. A little bit more money. I could have gone to bum friend. Why dodge directly into the beam? Like, that's, I don't feel good about that. Both item rooms, so we are kind of reaching, you know, our, um, you know, this is our shit or get off the pop moment for rerolls. Lost a lot of spirit arts on this floor. Unfortunately, you know, not getting hit that much, but when I do get hit, I'm unfortunately being hit by enemies that do a full heart of damage. Let's do uh, the devil's run there. Quad shot. We'll definitely take quad shot. It'll slow down our tears a little bit, but apart from that, it's uh, a great item. Still not quite one shotting these guys, even if I hit them multiple times. And rather than rerolling, uh, the other item that was over there, I forget what it was. Chocolate milk, it's a passive. Why not reroll uh, the active item instead? Doesn't really make a big difference. I swear to God, Abel is like the most common item that I find now. Abel is just one of those items that once a run, you gotta, you gotta budget for it. It's like your taxes, right? You don't wanna spend all the money that you've got in your bank account because you're gonna have to pay tax installments. Similarly, you know, you, you don't wanna assume that every reroll is gonna be golden until you've got Abel out of the equation, because he's not really that useful. 
That being said, we're probably approaching the end of this floor, and it, it's looking possible that Abel will actually be a, a companion of mine that I'll take with me. Because I'll reroll chocolate milk before I reroll Abel. Because Abel is at least, you know, extra damage in a weird kind of roundabout way. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll come back here and we'll, we'll reroll chocolate milk. It's a long walk. Please tell me this just... If it just gives me a half-decent passive, I can make the justification and not have to walk back here over and over and over and over and over and over. Like a monkey with a miniature symbol, you know? Um, sure, Dead Sea Scrolls, god-awful. No kamikaze, please. Book of Belial. Sometimes it gives you Book of Revelations or something. So that's why I tend to play it. Um, very stupid of me, by the way, to not pick up this key, especially when we have so many bombs. Probably will not end up looking for secret rooms on this floor, just because there's... I mean... We have enough bombs to, to make up for it. It would just be kind of cumbersome and annoying. So let's see what we got going on up here. I have a feeling our boss room is bottom right, so might as well tackle this side first. And um, again, we're, we're much stronger than the enemies we're facing. And, you know, Necropolis is oftentimes seemingly more difficult than the levels, than the first two levels that come after it, you know, Utero or Womb. Uh, so I don't feel too bad about the damage that I'm taking, although I would love to take less. So obviously, you know, I would, uh, I would love to see a boss trap room blood bank combo. We had enough money coming into this floor to possibly snag an arcade. Uh, I'm actually very, very surprised we have not seen one yet. We've only purchased one item. I'll mind you, for the first three floors, we didn't have enough money to get anything, but still. All right, so there's our reroll and another key. Uh, I will look for the secret room, not, uh, you know, religiously or anything like that, but just to see if the boss trap room is adjacent. It's not, that would have been an easy out for us. Oh well. And we continue our kind of walk of shame here. Definitely don't want to take Dead Sea Scrolls, so... You know, this is a guaranteed reroll. Just give me something that's better than Able, so I don't have to walk back over here anymore, please. Very simple value proposition. I can do that. Poison Bombs. If I had less bombs, I might consider not picking this up. But because I have uh, 98 bombs now, of course I'm going to go for Poison Bombs, right? Like, um, it, it would be foolish not to. Now we have 98 Poison Bombs. Five poison bombs? Eh, no big deal. It's, it's all right. 98 poison bombs. Big deal. Just like 98 degrees was a big deal in 1998. Now, um, I imagine we're, we're probably coming pretty close to the end of uh, this area of the floor, which means we should be coming pretty close to the end of the floor in general. I mean, it's been a long one. I, yeah. Not happy. Not happy. I killed one with uh, my orbitals, though. Guppy's Paw would be like a serious solo game-winning item. Just Guppy's Paw would uh, would win this game for me, I think. Can't believe I managed to dodge enough of those shots to probably get out of here unscathed. Very lucky. Boss Trap Room's looking pretty unlikely. We still have uh, <clears throat> two... Yeah, we still have two boss rooms. And to find an arcade as well, I think we're just, you know, maybe expecting the game to give us a little bit too much there. We do have more rerolls that we can use in our shop on Abel, though. At least one. And I'd rather reroll Abel than reroll uh, boss items. You know, if we end up getting Cat of Nine Tails, that sucks, and we would have loved to have rerolled it, but I'd rather take the opportunity to reroll Abel instead. And it's not like we're saving for a deal with the devil or anything, because we're not going to get one on this floor. Could maybe use the Emperor card to possibly snag one, but I'd rather save the Emperor card for, uh, in all honesty, probably in all likelihood, the Cathedral. Anyway, so far still, uh, you know, I don't have Spirit Hearts off the screen anymore, but it's still a pretty comfortable run. And it's been a very comfortable run for a long time. Uh, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick up Infestation. So Infestation's pretty bad, but now we will have rerolls for the boss room. Um, and I'll feel pretty bad if there's like a... If there's good boss rooms and we get a... Or good boss items and we get a reroll, but... Whatever, infestation is what it is. I'm my tolerance for backtracking is basically, you know, exhausted. So that's that's part of my decision making process here. Is able better than infestation? I still think infestation's better than able. So we have our, our special room ends up being a library instead of uh, anything else. So I'm gonna check out the library just in case it has Book of Revelations. It doesn't, but it had Book of Sin. And uh, we can reroll the library, actually. We'll see. We'll see if we come across uh, some enemies that might warrant a reroll instead. All right, so Mask of Infamy is our first enemy. And I, you know, we have enough bombs, but I'm very thankful that I took poison bombs as well. 
So the heart should die very, very quickly. And then the real moment of truth begins. So let's throw down some poison bombs. If we miss, it doesn't really matter. That's good. That's good. That one's not so good. This is where that worked out amazingly. Oh, that's where we want to reroll then. Ugh. Oh well. All right. Onwards and upwards then. Red version of mom. Um, my best tactic for red version of mom with sacrificial dagger is stand close enough that sacrificial dagger can do serious damage, but not close enough that you actually get hit. Sacrificial dagger plus uh, guardian angel helps out a lot too. We lost more HP than I would have hoped. Maybe even than I would have expected on this floor. That's okay. Oh man, that was scary. Easy. Uh, Pageant Boy is also terrible. Polaroid will replace Cancer, unfortunately, and it's down to the next floor. Starting to get a little bit more, um, you know, wary about our chances. I still think we're in an okay position, but it's been a while since, you know, we've had a lot of momentum. We didn't really gain very much on that floor considering how large it was, and, uh, we got a couple of good things, but could be better. Oh, careful. And the, the spirit hearts now really are precious. And as is the uh, the plausibility of getting a deal with the devil here. If we get uh, a deal with the devil and it, it contains the ability to fly, mom's knife, guppy's paw, etc., etc., um, then our chances of winning go way, way up. As of right now, feeling a little bit, uh, not pessimistic, but more muted in my, my optimism for the run than I was uh, more recently, you know? There we go. That's a good chain reaction. And we got a spirit heart, and we're moving on. Easiest kill of all time. Oh, you know what? Okay. Feel free to call me an idiot. I've earned it. There's one mistake every Isaac episode that uh, gets me called an idiot. On the last floor, it was definitely leaving that eternal heart. And it took me until... Ooh, okay. It took me until I got another eternal heart to realize that I was dumb. So yes, um, my mistake. Let's laugh it off. See people playing The Binding of Isaac on Twitch sometimes, you know. They make a mistake like that, you laugh it off. On YouTube, people freaking get up your asshole, assume you have a you know, single-digit IQ because you forgot something in a video game while you were also carrying on an incredibly long, you know, one-sided conversation with yourself as well. But, you know, far be it for me to suggest that um, communities are a little different. In any case, um, we have our boss room quickly approaching. Not as quickly as I would have liked. And again, oh, Teratoma, we've gotten super easy boss fights. Even Mask of Infamy was very easy for us um, with, uh, you know, Bob's Curse here. But yeah, um, Teratoma's more or less an ideal boss fight for us with the items that we've got going on here. I didn't even notice, uh, like, our, our DPS going down as a result of not having cancer anymore, so I think that's a pretty good sign. And there's a deal with the devil and meat. That is a very important one-two punch there. So we get Guppy's Tail and nine lives. The, the two Guppy items I don't want. We re-roll them, and I will take the mark. I'm not gonna take the nail, but I'll take the mark. Well worth it. Extra damage. Didn't quite get Guppy's Paw, but uh, the mark is still gonna be a huge get for us. So this is where things start to move very quickly. That tarot card could be important. Uh, probably not though. If it's the Hierophant, that, that might be the best for us, because I'm gonna save the Emperor card for the next floor. Magician's just a, a bad trinket in my, or bad card in my opinion. But yes, this is where things start to move very quickly, unless I want to turn this into a double item room. In which case, things might move very slowly. I think the way I'm going to do this is just bank my rerolls here. Um, and as long as it takes me to find the uh, the boss, I'll, I'll use my rerolls to try to like create a double item room. But uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to make it happen, because I could end up taking more damage than I actually uh, you know gain in some kind of other benefit from this. Anyway, um... The reason I said things might start to move a little quickly is because uh, we have this Emperor card, so as soon as we fight Mom's Heart, which should happen, you know, 15 rooms over under, somewhere around there, uh, we'll uh, pop the Emperor card on the Cathedral, and then that'll allow us to fight Isaac right away. I think we should have a pretty good fight against Isaac, especially given our, you know, bomb situation. Very bad dodge there, but, you know, I, I, I took my shot and missed. We got enough keys. I'm okay with this. Eh, we got a key back. It's fine. Why would I even come to this room knowing it had to be a dead end? Maybe I subconsciously do want to get as many charges for that library as possibly and, and willing to sacrifice time for it. Anyway, um, yeah, then then we go to the chest and uh, the chest is, um, you know, it's anybody's game, isn't it? Sometimes you get Mom's Knife Polyphemus and then you get carried. That was a great bomb. I am sad that I couldn't make my way out of that... Uh, Terrible situation, but, uh, you know, more power to Wrath for a pretty good bomb drop there. 
Anytime I get hit by a Wrath, I feel pretty sad about it in this day and age. But it's okay. Bombs are getting stuck on the, the walls here. Proving to be kind of problematic. Okay. So we have a reroll to be using on the library. We've seen a few books now, probably five maybe. Uh, so come down here and give it a quick uh, reroll. Book of Belial, Anarchist Cookbook. Book of Belial is really good. If we were on the chest, I would probably take Book of Belial as my go-to item. But we're not on the chest, so uh, I'm going to stick with the D6, even though we have no augmentations for it. Uh, we're basically one-shotting the Diglets here. We're one-shotting them if we hit them with more than one of our quad shots, um, which is kind of a weird definition of one-shotting. You get what I'm getting at, I think. It's possible we could bomb our way into the uh, boss trap room, which I would love. Still on the lookout for HP, considering, you know, I, I don't have Guppy's Paw. Uh, okay, I thought we had a pretty good chance of getting a secret uh, Tinted Rock there, I thought. Alright, we're gonna be Brain Dude. Brain Guts. I still don't have a real name for you except Brain Dude. Now, we'll come back here and maybe we've earned ourselves a second item room and maybe this floor ends up being uh, the moment we get carried. We've been carried kind of the entire run so far, but we can we can get more carried. Necronomicon. Is there any book we have not seen? I'm running through them quickly in my head. I think we may have seen them all, which is great news. Because it means that uh, we'll get a double item room pretty soon. All the way across the sky. Quickly check here, just in case there's a secret room that allows us to go to the boss trap room. Nope. Uh, could be an arcade, though. You know, that that's something... At this point, I'd have to weigh it. You know, is, is it worth... Playing the blood bank to try to get to a boss trap room at this point. Uh, it would depend on how many... Jesus, that knockback. It would depend on how many uh, red hearts are available on the floor. Like right now, I think there's enough red hearts on the floor to take us back to full health. So, yeah, it would be worth it. Even if it is a little cumbersome. And this side is now dead. Or, no, done. Maybe is a more uh, apt way to put it. Let's go down, down, right, right, down. I don't know. We'll just keep exploring down here. <clears throat> and we should be fine. Curse room. Yeah, I mean, we'll visit it. It's gonna cost us two spirit hearts, which is a little cost prohibitive, but the potential benefit is, is way stronger, so I don't really mind it. We'll wait until we have a reroll, though, just in case. Oh, man. Okay, so that'll allow us to go to the boss trap room. We got a very interesting, uh, interesting series of stuff ahead of us here. This la the final moments on this floor have really uh, raised some interesting possibilities and questions. So, I I think we play you a lot. We can play you twice per heart, which is uh, you know pretty good value. And we get lard. Our speed is high enough that I actually really like lard in this situation. Ah, uh, but then I can't get to the um, boss trap room. Kind of botched that a little bit. That's okay though. What do we have in here? Uh, one of these is an HP up, isn't it? No? Okay. Well, we have Telepills and the Emperor. The Emperor is way better, obviously. Alright, let's get our HP up as high as it can possibly go. Probably should have played that Demon Judgment by losing as much HP as possible to actually go to the boss trap room, but that's that's fairly counterintuitive, so I don't, you know, I'm not blaming myself, really, for not being able to make that uh, connection quickly. And we'll reroll the library one more time, and that'll be a, a good moment for us. And we got to a half heart interval as well. Lard was a great pickup. And eh, we got the magnet. Lemon mishap is obviously garbage, but sure. Good floor, I would say. And if we ever come across more libraries, which is pretty unlikely considering uh, we're just going to bum rush Isaac and then move on to the chest where we'll try to bum rush the chest. But anyway, if we ever get more libraries, at least we've gone through the protocol of getting it to pay out with a double item room right away. I don't really need that bomb that much. Um... Yeah, I mean, we went through all that effectively to probably just gain the magnet, which I don't feel great about, but hey, you know, it's better than not having the magnet, usually. And of course, we're going to end up using bombs like crazy here, uh, because we have poison bombs. That's that's what we do right now. Poison damage should... Ah, uh, it was a combination, but yeah, um, we don't need to save bombs. We have 96 poison bombs, so it's only going to take like seven or eight of these to get Mom's heart to the position we want her to be in. One it to be in, I guess. Um, and we'll just stand back here, and uh, this should be over pretty much right now. Chest contains another key, which may come in handy. I don't really want that heart. That's 
while I'm trying to move around here. All right, it's Emperor time. And I'm feeling pretty good. You know, th this didn't end up being as easy of a run as I thought it would be. We have a really nice... I hate when that happens. We have a really nice combination of items, though, uh, for, for taking out the late game bosses. Not a crazy rate of fire. We will get a lot of shots because of the poison damage from the bombs, but we also have a full suite of orbitals. Um, and I think it might, might actually be in my best interest to actually focus on dodging. We also have infestation, you know, sacrificial dagger. Um, I'm taking a lot of damage, though, so it's actually possible that we may end up losing this one. But, uh, you know, all we gotta do... Like, all I can really control right now is, is this fight against Isaac. And then we get to the chest, and maybe on the chest, I end up getting some items that uh, augment my chances even a little bit further. We can get some tarot cards from, uh, you know, sloth fights, or HP from gluttony fights if we have to, and there we go. I kind of relaxed a little bit as this fight went on, and I settled in, and um, there we go. Isaac's gonna be dead. I lost all my spirit hearts, but apart from that, this, this fight could have gone worse. Okay. Now, moment of truth. Game Kid, not very good. Fat Odd Mushroom, pretty good. Uh, crack the Sky, not very good. Demon Baby, basically exactly the borderline. So, I'm not gonna use Game Kid to replenish some health. This might make some people um, a little confused. But I don't want it to accidentally put me at maybe a, um, a not half-heart interval. I, don't, I can't believe I took damage there. I didn't see that coming. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want it to ruin my half-heart interval. So... You know, let's be uh, let's be cautious about that. That permanent Polaroid invincibility, considering the damage that I can do with my orbitals, may well end up being meaningful. Might not be the difference between life and death, but it could be, possibly. Um, so we pick up these and then re-roll them. Fat out of mushroom. Mostly, I wanted the HP and damage. I don't think Demon Baby's worth more than the item pedestal at this point. So, uh, Yum Heart. It's a great item to pick up. Scapular, uh, I will pick up. I'm not going to abuse it, but it might keep me alive for a little bit longer, and even give me one more period of permanent Polaroid invincibility, so... Uh, I expected maybe we'd get Greed in here, which I kind of wanted, to be honest, but anyway. Alright, what do we have here? A couple, uh, well, a few... A couple of couples of uh, brain dudes here. Really, this room, in my opinion, is just, um, you know, take out one, one plane of them, and then it becomes very easy. As long as you have, uh, like, a decent-sized safe zone on the level, you're gonna be fine. Don't walk on the creep, of course. Easier said than done for me sometimes. The quarter is not very good, of course. Double monster of two. So this is the... Of all the rooms that you can encounter on the uh, on the chest, this is the most nightmarish of all. Double the monstro two room. I don't know, there's... Because I said, you know, the most dangerous of all. I was thinking, the most wonderful reindeer of all. Anyway. The poison bombs help out a little bit here. Especially because one of the monstros is always jumping. We found the second secret room by accident. This could have a bunch of red hearts on it, which would be crazy good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You dropped a red heart, a full one. We got a hanged man tarot card, which is okay. Red chest with some flies in it. Eh, it was all right. This that room went pretty well, I'd say. Uh, good dodging there. Lucky dodging. But good dodging. All right, so we got a safe plane, relatively speaking. Don't have to worry about diagonal shots. That's really the, the big focus for me. Because I can focus on the lateral shots pretty easily. It's the diagonal shots that are problematic. Um, cool. What do we have here? Rainbow Baby Ghost Baby. Not particularly exciting. It's also the name of my double album. Uh, it's a concept album based on all of the familiars from The Binding of Isaac. It's kind of like Nelly's, uh, you know, Sweat and Suit. That's, that's my main influence. 81 bombs. That's the first track. Uh, yeah, we, sh we should be okay. We should be okay. The pill is uh, telepills. Ugh, I don't, I don't like either of these, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't really care about the hanged man, but telepills, I find it hard to imagine being useful. A little scary there. Um, the only reason it would be useful is if I, like, go to a room that I don't want to fight on, I get telepills out, and that might actually be, like, a legitimate use, but at the same time, you know, I'm gonna have to fight enemies anyway, so, you know, I, I may have to fight that difficult room to get to the boss, so. You know what it is? You know why I'm taking damage? It's because I think I'm safe, but the bombs home in because of the magnet, so they just get slightly further, slightly closer towards me, I should say, and thus, uh, fuck with my, like, mental perception of, of where they're at. 
now. What do we have in here? Rosary. Worth picking up. Probably worth waiting until the boss, but whatever. I picked it up. I don't even remember the other item at this point. Super Sloth is uh, something I'm very happy to be fighting. Give me a good tarot card, man. You give me the Sun card, uh, the Lover's card, Hira font. Um, just don't give me Bob's Rod and Head, because I have basically no interest in, in an active item that is one poison Mr. Mega Bomb. Considering I basically have 81 of those right now. Alright, there's a tarot card. It's the Emperor. That's really good, so we're gonna go fight the boss. Um, what was the other item back here, though? It's teleport. It's not very good. We're gonna go fight the boss anyway, though. I'm pretty sure that we've just won. Uh... I'm just, like, I'm trying to figure out whether it's better to use bombs or better to um, just use shots. Because the bombs cause poison damage, which causes the uh, blue baby to shoot more. But they also do more damage with the damage over time. You know, it's a double-edged sword, as well as with the explosive damage to start with. But, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't think we're going to lose this one. I think it's very, very unlikely that we would find ourselves in a position where we would lose this one. Um, so let's just uh, let's just keep firing here. I'm not even dodging at this point, and we're very rarely taking damage. So now we can afford to just tank it and let um, you know, like sacrificial dagger do its dirty work and put some bombs down there. And good, good, good. All right, uh, that was a that was a fun run. I had a good time with it. I hope you did too. That's uh, many victories in a row. Not getting too cocky yet, but as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you did, click the like button. Helps out a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.